I'm gonna open maybe a classroom, right? And I'm gonna run a test on GPU here. Let's see how fast GPU renders that. And we can see it's a GeForce RTX 4080 Super. But I want to see the sensors, and there is this interesting sensor which says board power draw, which actually tells you how much power does the whole GPU board draw. Below it, you have GPU chip draw, which tells you how much the GPU itself um, draws. But uh, this, this is interesting because this is the whole power that this card takes from from power supply. Okay, let's let's render this. Before that, let's check the task manager. So right now, um, the video is being encoded by GPU. Um, let's see how that will affect the, the performance of this rendering. We can see the power usage was 220, 230 watts, and the chip itself 160, maybe 170. Okay. So that was fast, that was 9 seconds, the rendering took 9 seconds. That was really nice and fast. Let's now close this, let's see what will CPU do for us. I'm gonna switch to CPU, and I'm gonna bring this thing, core temp. It will tell us the power usage for the CPU and the temperature when we render on CPU, the same thing. Right, so now Ryzen 9 is rendering the scene. Um, it says that the remaining time is 3 minutes and 10 seconds at the moment. The power consumption is 103 watts. The temperature is 83 degrees, 84 now. And the CPU clock is 4.8-ish gigahertz. So you can see that all CPU cores more or less use same frequency at the moment, 4.8 GHz. You can see that all 24 threads on CPU are busy doing now the rendering. The NVIDIA GPU is currently encoding this video stream. And I'm not sure what was that about. That's some interesting peak here. Um, yeah, that's a curious one, right? That's really, hmm. Maybe, maybe the blender scene underneath is rendering a bit of a crash or something. Okay. So I'm gonna close that. It's 140 watts and 84 degrees. I can hear that the fans went down now, and that the rendering time was 3 minutes and 16 seconds. So what that gives us is somewhere around 20,000 watt seconds the power consumption for the CPU to render this image. 20,000 watt seconds because it's 3 minutes and 16 seconds multiplied by 100 watts. 3 minutes uh, 20 seconds is 200 seconds it's multiplied by 100 watts. 20,000 watt seconds, more or less. The GPU rendered this uh, scene in 10 seconds, consuming 225 watts. So GPU consumed around 2,250 watt seconds, which is essentially 10 times less power consumed than the CPU. So, conclusion. CPU have used 10 times more electricity than GPU to render this scene, even though GPU has been using twice as much power at any given moment. But the result, end result, was that the GPU in total consumed 10 times less electricity. Also, uh, the time of rendering of this frame for CPU, it was over 20 times slower. So GPU did it 20 times faster, which means that if you had an animation which was in a frame rate of 20 frames per second, um, one second of this animation would be rendered 
by GPU in the same time as CPU would render just one still. So, you know, you can render the, the whole one second of animation while the CPU is still rendering just one frame. That's, that's the difference, that's the magnitude of the difference. Um, GeForce RTX 4080 Super is a very powerful card. Uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM makes it even more powerful. And uh, I would have no doubt that it's going to be faster than, than the CPU, even faster than Ryzen 7900X3D with lots of cache, right? 